Hello third graders and welcome to another math lesson. Today we're going to work on math lesson 2-6 and we are going to work with equal groups. But before that, some quick look cards. And when we do quick look cards, which we've done several times so far, this is also an example of kind of like a number talk or number sense where we are making sense out of numbers. So I'm going to quick show you my quick look card. I want you to notice what you saw and how you saw it. Ready? What'd you see? Did you see two groups of five and you saw 10? So when you think of those two groups, did you see it as five plus five? Or maybe you saw it as two times five because that also means two groups of five. So you saw 10 altogether. And the next one, here we go. What did you see and how did you see it? At the bottom, did you see four? Did you see two groups of four? And when you saw it, did you think of that as four plus four equals eight? Or did you think of it as four times two equals eight? Sometimes, I'm gonna open that up. Sometimes I might have boys and girls say, well, Mrs. Flurry, I saw two plus two plus two plus two because I know that equals eight. Or maybe I saw, maybe I saw one group, two groups, three groups, four groups. So maybe I saw four groups of two, which is four times two, and that is also eight. One more. Ooh, what'd you see? And how did you see it? Did you see 16? I saw 16. Because I saw two fours at the top and two fours at the bottom. And when I saw it, I said, well, that's four plus four plus four plus four. And I know that four plus four is eight. So eight plus eight is 16. You might also have seen it as, well, it's four groups of four. And I know that four fours is 16. Maybe you even saw it as two and 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 two. And, two. and you knew that eight groups of two was also 16. Lots of different ways to see 16. All right, math message. So why don't you go get your math notebook or a piece of scratch paper or your whiteboard. Go ahead and pause this video and get those materials ready and a pencil. And then when you come back, we'll solve it. Okay, so here's the problem. Again, we're going to read it once. We're going to read it twice. We're going to read it three times. We will read it 600 times until we understand what the problem is telling us and what we need to do. You have four packages of pencils. There are six pencils in each package. How many pencils in all? Ooh, I need to read that again. You have four packages of pencils. So what do I know? I have four, four packages of pencils. There are six pencils in each package. So I know that each package has six pencils. Do you see how I'm underlining that important information? You can do that. You can underline the important things in the problems that you're trying to work out. And how many pencils in all? So that's what I need to find out. How many pencils in all? That's my goal. It says to show your thinking with drawings, words, or number models. I'm going to use a drawing. Now, in my classroom at Piazza Elementary, I say when in doubt, draw it out. That doesn't mean you need to make a fancy, fancy picture that's going to go into an art museum. Mr. Myers is not going to hang it up in the hallway. It's just a diagram or a sketch to help me figure out the problem. So I have four packages of pencils. Package one, package two, package three, package four. Maybe you drew rectangles. Either way is fine. There are six pencils in each package. Now, I really stress that when you are putting pencils in a package or candy in a package and you're drawing that you use tally marks and you put them in nice and neat and tidy because in the end, it just makes it a lot easier to count them and then it's gonna make it easier for you to solve 
the problem. So six pencils in each package. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have my four packages. One, one, two, three, four. And I have six pencils in each one. Am I finished? Well, no, I need to answer the question. How many pencils in all? So I'm going to go back to my packages and I'm going to count my pencils. And when I know with my tallies, when I have four and one diagonal, that's five. I don't need to count them one at a time. I can count each of these groups by five. So five, 10, 15, 20, then go back, 21, 22, 23, 24. How many pencils in all? 24. But I'm not finished with my answer because I need to put a unit. 24 what? I always need to say, what am I talking about? I'm talking about pencils. So the answer is 24 pencils. Okay, next page here. <clears throat> Maybe. Here we go. Same thing. You're going to one and out, draw it out. There are three packages of party horns with six horns in each package. How many horns in all? Pause the video and on your whiteboard or your scratch paper, figure it out. Let's go back and read it again. There are three packages of party horns with six horns in each package. How many horns are in all? What do I know? I know that there are three packages. What else do I know? There are six horns in e six horns in each package. What do I need to find out? How many horns there are in all? So I need my three packages. One, two, three. And how many horns in all? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, with the nice, neat, and tidy tally marks. One, two, three, four four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not finished yet because I need to answer the question, how many horns in all? Remember, I have groups of five. I can just count by five. I don't need to count each one of those tallies separately. So five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many horns in all? 18, but I need to tell what? 18 horns. I need to have that unit. So boys and girls, we were working with putting our problems into equal groups. We were drawing a picture and putting in the same amount in each package and that is equal groups. Now this is one strategy to do it. One when in doubt, draw it out. I could have done this. Three packages, one, two, three, six in each. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is an array. An array is a tool that I can make on my paper to show equal groups. So I could draw it in a picture like this, or I could make an array. Either one of those are excellent strategies to use to show equal groups. Okay. So if I buy six packages of chocolate scented pens, how many pens will I have? We'll look at our school supply list. I want, what do I want? Six packages of chocolate scented pens. Well, down here, chocolate scented pens. If I buy six packages, how many pens will I have? Well, there's six in a pack. There's six in a pack. Well, when in doubt, draw it out. I could have my six packages. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. There's my one in doubt, draw it out. I have six packages and there's six in a pack. Well, I can count those up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, go back 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 pens. But we're going to go one more step here. I want to know a number model. What number model can I use to represent 36 pens? Well, I had six groups and each group had six pens. Six times six equals 36. I could also go six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups with six in each group. And that's going to be 36. Now here's what I'm not going to do. I'm going to change my color here. I'm not going to say... Oh, my number model is going to be 18 plus 18 equals 36. You know what? 18 plus 18 does equal 36, but it doesn't fit my picture. So my number models have to fit my picture. Here we go. Next page. If I buy four packages of glitter sticks... Will that be enough for everyone in our class to have one sticker? Why or why not? So we have 20 in our class. That's information that we need to know in order to solve the problem. If I buy four packs, so one, two, three, four, there's seven in a pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. So I would have twenty-eight. But I need to know if that's a yes or a no. Will I or won't I have enough for everyone to have a sticker? But first, we need to do... This is a multi-step problem. So we need a number model for our picture. So... I have four packages and there's seven in a package because that's what I drew and after counting them I got to 28. Now 28 and there's 20 in our class I'm going to have eight left over so will I have enough? Yes I'll have enough stickers for everyone to have a sticker because there's 20 kids in our classroom and if I buy four packages, that's 28 stickers. I'm going to have extra. I'm going to give them to Mrs. Byer and Mrs. Dalsine and Mrs. O'Brien. All right, we'll move on. Now, multiplying by one can be thought of as one group of something, which is that number of things. So if I buy one package of marbles, how many marbles do I have? Well, there's 45 in a bag. So one package times 45, I'm going to have 45 marbles. One package of file cards. Okay, there's, oh, it's a package of 100. So one times 100 will be 100. So I'll have 100 cards. Anytime you multiply the number one by a number, you always and forever get the number that you multiply the one by. Now, multiplying by zero can be thought of as zero groups of something. Zero groups means nothing, so the answer is zero. So if I have zero packages of marbles, zero times 45, it's going to be zero. I have zero marbles. Zero bags of nine-inch balloons, and there's 25 per bag. Zero times 25 is zero. Zero marbles, zero balloons. My time is running out, so I'm going to quickly show you your work to do. Page 46, practice those problems just like I did. They're fun to do. 
Math Boxes, page 47. Good luck. Have fun. I love these kind of problems. Let's have a party with them. Yay!